How to make a file upload form on WordPress. Easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can create your own file upload form on your WordPress website. So viewers, clients, or potential employees can fill out a form and upload their files in that specific form. So how do you create that on WordPress? Well, it's very easy and very simple. So to get started, all you have to do is head on over to your WordPress dashboard. Once you are on your WordPress dashboard, you're just going to click on plugins on the left side of your screen. So on the bottom left of your screen, you're going to find all of your plugins. And from here, you're just going to click on add new. So we're just going to go on to the add new section. Once you click on add new, this will be your page. Now from here, we're actually going to install a plugin that will enable us to create a file uploading form. Now these kinds of forms are super essential. There are many different ways that you can use them, such as, you know, getting potential CVs, getting client reviews, getting client, you know, client feedback. It's super essential to have these kinds of forms and it could be a website regarding anything in the world but you do need to create something along the lines of a form to better understand the visitors of your website now from here you're going to click on add new and on the top right of your screen you're just going to download the plugin called forminator so once you search for Forminator over here, you can see this is the top search result. It is by WPMU Dev. So this is a simple form plugin where you are able to build forms for your WordPress website. So you can build contact form, customer form, and payment forms, and so much more. Now, all you're going to do is click on install now. Once your form builder or your plugin has been installed, you can simply go into your installed plugins. It might take a couple of seconds for your plugin to be installed. Once it has been installed, just go on to installed plugins on the left side of your screen. So from here, you're just going to go into your WordPress plugins, click on installed plugins, and you will see Forminator. So you're going to click on activate to activate the Forminator or form builder, and we're going to begin building our file upload form. So once you have activated your form, you can just click on settings over here. And this will lead you directly to the Forminator settings. Now, you can see over here you have multiple different forms. So we're just going to go into clicking on Forminator on the left side of our screen to go to our forms dashboard. Now you can see over here we have forms that we can create. We have polls that we can create quizzes. So what you're just going to do is you're just going to click on create on forms. And let's say that you want a, a blank form or maybe a simple contact us form. So we're just gonna continue with a blank form and I'm going to enter the name of the form. So let's say this is a application form and I'm gonna click on create over here. And then you're going to enter the field of the form. So you're gonna click on insert field and you're going to choose the field that you want. So this is going to be name. And this is how the visibility and setting and styling I want it to be. You can just customize this. This is more so, you know, simple uh, design elements. And next I want the email. I'm going to click on insert fields and I'm just going to add that. And then let's say I want a file. So how do I get people to upload files on my forms? Because if you click on upload field, you can't exactly see, you know, how to file upload. So you're going to click on file upload on the right side of your screen and you're going to click on insert field. Now from here, you can choose the type of file that you want to be uploaded. So can people upload multiple files on your form or a single file? And then you can add the upload file and the description. This could be enter or upload your CV. So upload your resume. That is the description that I want. And you can choose multiple or single because this is a application form and I am taking in resumes. I only want a singular file from each candidate. So I'm going to keep it at single or I'm going to change the label as well as upload resume. And over here, I'm going to click on settings. So is this a required field or a optional field? So this is going to be a required field 
field and you can enter a error message so if someone tries to fill out the form without this field what kind of message should be shown and below that you have file type so do you want to allow all kind of file types or a specific kind of file type? So let's say I want to allow specific file types and I don't want any images, any audio or any video. I only want document file types. And even in document file types, I'm going to deselect the text, spreadsheet, interactive, all those kinds of files and only document file types. And even with that, let's say I don't want XPS, I don't want OXPS. I only want some of the basic file types. I'm going to deselect all the other options and I would recommend that you also deselect all the other options that are not going to be used because they are of no use and you won't be able to upload them. Now you can enter any additional file types that me that might be of help to you. Next up you have your file size limit. So what should be the largest file size that a person can be uploaded? Now it will show you what kind of file uh, limit does your server have. So it's 104 MB in size and you can set a lower limit but if you want more kind of a larger limit in terms of megabytes then you will need to adjust your server's PHP settings which I do not recommend just up the file size to maybe 15 megabytes and that is more than enough for any kind of file next up you have show files in media library so what you can choose whether or not you want to show the files uploaded by your visitors so this is going to be disabled obviously so i'm going to just go on up and click on styling and you can add some more styling elements and you can add some more visibility elements as well now I'm just going to click on apply over here and once I have done that I'm just going to click on publish on the top right over here and now you can see my form is ready to go. Now you can just click on copy and upload your short code to display your form. So for that you can just go into your store so you can just go and edit your store. We're going to click on visit site, we're going to click on edit site over here. So now over here, I am just opening up the Elementor editor and I'm just going to build a new page over here. So on my new page, what I'm just doing is I'm going to click on the element section and I'm just going to go on ahead and add your text. You can add any kind of heading text you want. So I'm just going to drag this over here. So I'm just entering the text of job application. And then below that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter the code of my little form that I created. So you can just scroll down. And once you scroll down, you can click on this short code over here. You're going to drag and drop this widget. And once you do that, you're going to enter your short code. You're going to click on apply and once you have clicked on apply the form will be added to that specific section so you can see the form has now been added and now i can click on publish and once i have clicked on publish i can click on have a look and now you can see over here i have my job application form i have the upload resume section and this is how you create a file upload form on your wordpress website so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video